The OnePlus 3 should be out sometime soon, early next month. And here are 10 things we expect. Hey, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, and let's get started. Number one, the build. OnePlus is supposed to be doing away with the sandstone back that was kind of sort of unique to OnePlus, and they're gonna go the metal route. Leak renders indicate to a HTC-esque design with a sleek 7.3 millimeter profile. Me personally, I would prefer the sandstone back because that's what made OnePlus phones, well, OnePlus phones. What about you? Here's a poll. Number two, the SoC. Rumors indicate that the Snapdragon 820 chip is gonna be in the OnePlus 3 and that's to be expected given that OnePlus flagships have traditionally sported the latest and greatest of what Qualcomm's had to offer. And as always, there are supposed to be two variants and here's where things get a little interesting. There are a certain set of reports that indicate 3 plus 32 and 4 plus 64 variants and others claiming 4 plus 32 and a humongous 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage on the higher end variant. Personally, as excited as I am about seeing a phone with 6 gigs of RAM, I'm more excited to see the 16 gig variant die. Yeah, 4K recording, 16 gig storage, that just makes absolutely no sense to me, unless number three is to be believed. And number three is that OnePlus might be adding a micro SD slot to the mix this time around. They had it on the OnePlus X, and maybe the flagship gets it this time around. If that happens and if they don't disable Marshmallow's unified storage, then I might just be able to live with 16 gigs of storage, but still, I'm gonna stick to what, I'm, what I've been saying. 16 gig storage variants need to die. It's 2016, let's be done with it. No more 16 gig variants on flagships. Number four, the display. If you are waiting for a bump in resolution, well, you might have to wait for another year because odds of it happening this year seems to seem to be slim because OnePlus is rumored to be going with another 1080p panel, a 5.5 inch 1080p panel on the OnePlus 3. But the good news is that this time they're gonna be opting for uh, Super AMOLED technology. If you think about it, the Galaxy S4, uh, the Note 3, these are all old phones, but the 1080p Super AMOLED displays on those phones still hold up till date. So maybe an improved display with a 1080p resolution might not be too bad a thing here for the OnePlus 3, given that 1080, the lower resolution would help with battery life and graphic performance. I mean, not that the Adreno 530 chip needs any help, but still better performance, better battery life, who's gonna not want that? And that brings us to number five, the battery capacity might be either 3000 mAh or 3500 mAh. Conflicting reports, logically it makes sense given that a 7.3 millimeter profile means maybe a 3000 mAh battery, but the heart wants what it wants, I'm hoping it's gonna be a 3500 mAh battery underneath. And then there's also the rumored support for Oppo's VOOC fast charging. If this comes true, you should be able to charge your phone from zero to 100 in 15 minutes and that would be bloody impressive. Anyway, that brings us to number six. Number six, the cameras. An eight megapixel front facing camera, a 16 megapixel rear facing camera that would also come with a supposed camera pump. Cameras have never been OnePlus's strong point, not been the USP of the phones, but here's to hoping it changes this year. Number seven, the software. We have seen leaked screenshots of OnePlus 3s running on uh, preview builds of Android N, but the retail units, more logically thinking, should be coming out with Android 6 Marshmallow uh, with the Oxygen OS 3.0 on top. A close to stock implementation with maybe uh, the shelf and a few other little OnePlus Oxygen OS tweaks thrown in. Number eight, the return of NFC that is omitted from the OnePlus 2 and Type-C that is omitted from the OnePlus X. The front-facing fingerprint scanner and the toggle to the side that was introduced with the OnePlus 2 are also supposed to be returning. And now we get to probably the most important point on this list. Number nine, the price. The 32 gig variant is supposed to be priced around 1999 yuan or 305 US dollars and the 64 gig variant around 2499 yuan or 380 US dollars. And given that OnePlus usually prices their phones similarly in India, 
we could be expecting 20 to 21,000 for the 32 gig variant and 25 to 26,000 for the 64 gig variant. Now this excites me not just for the OnePlus 3, but also the ripple effect that it would cause if the OnePlus 3 were to launch at these prices. Because say for example, uh, in order to remain competitive, Xiaomi would be forced to bring in the Mi 5 Pro, something for some weird reason they've been against, uh, as in bringing it to India, and that's really hurt me. And maybe even a price drop for the Mi 5. So anyway, well, we'll know a lot more about this in a week or so. And that brings us to number 10, the launch. Again, just like with the OnePlus 2, will be streamed via v VR. And OnePlus have teamed up with Ant VR. Yeah, the same guys that Lenovo teamed up with for uh, the K4 Node and Theater Max. And they have sold a bunch of Loop VR headsets. And maybe, just maybe, this is sarcasm and the invite system is finally done. I can't even begin to tell you how much I hate the invite system and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do as well and I can't wait to see, see it done. Uh, I understand why OnePlus needs the invite system but I just hate it, I just hate it, I hate it. So anyway, these are 10 things we expect from the OnePlus 3, are you excited about it? I sure am. And let me know what's the feature you're looking forward to the most in the comments below. So I guess that's it for this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, vote it down. And if you have any constructive criticism to offer, head on over to the comments below. And while you're there, subscribe if you haven't already. If you do want to help the channel out, consider changing your Flipkart or Amazon uh, bookmarks to ones with the affiliate ID. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4 Retech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.